The family of a teenager found dead on cliffs near Swanage almost three years ago fear they may never fully understand the circumstances surrounding her death. 19-year-old Gaia Pope disappeared in November 2017. She'd been traumatised by the way a rape allegation had been handled by Dorset Police. But today it was confirmed that an inquest into her death will not examine that investigation. Well, Steve Humphrey is in Bournemouth for us tonight where a pre-inquest hearing has been taking place. Steve. Yes, Joe. Um, today it was decided that the inquest won't look in detail at the way Dorset Police carried out its investigation into that allegation of rape made by Gaia Pope. But in something of a victory for the family, they will be looking at the impact that episode had on her mental health. Today, Gaia Pope's family said nearly three years on from her death, many questions still remain unanswered. There's always a bit of frustration because it's so such a lengthy process and very complex so we have to gather all the evidence together and make sure everybody's got all the copies of everything that they need. We have waited such a long time for answers as to why this was allowed to happen when Gaia, a survivor of sexual violence, should have been cared for and protected by the public services we all rely on in an emergency. The disappearance of Gaia Pope led to a huge search on the Dorset coast nearly three years ago. The 19-year-old had severe epilepsy and mental health problems. Guy went missing from an address in Swanage and her body was found 11 days later near the coastal path west of Swanage. The coroner said previously the wide-ranging inquest will look at if any errors were made by Dorset Police during the search operation. But it won't look at how the force conducted an investigation into a rape allegation made by Gaia. However, the inquest will look at the impact the rape allegation had on Gaia's mental health and how she was cared for by health services from 2015. The Independent Office for Police Conduct has investigated both the handling of the search and the rape allegation. We know that there are really significant gaps in the evidence still um, and the one thing we want more than for this to be over is for this to be effective and prevent future harm. We're not satisfied that those criteria have been met at this time. Evidence in the case already runs to thousands of pages, along with recordings of phone calls and CCTV footage. Well, the full inquest is now going to be held next May, probably. It was going to be scheduled for January, but there are now fears about coronavirus. The full hearing is expected to last at least six weeks. Back to you. Steve, thank you very much.